Hello Year 11, I hope you enjoyed your break and the Christmas food in the hall. More for you in an hour. Going to be looking at your practice results today. First of all, let's have a little look at something to remind you just how amazing you all are. Oh, I could be all it is you need Cause we are trying to find a way to feel If I could sleep, i dream of what we'd be But I can feel you slip further from me Oh, it makes it hard to be when you are all that I want But don't laugh And I'll run into the sea Follow this heart that escapes from me It escapes from me And I'm How are you feeling? There's a number of options you've got going on here, really. You're either sat there with those envelopes in front of you, feeling upset, feeling happy, they're a great set of results, you're worried, not really sure what it means, or you're really quite disappointed. You could even be in the category that you're not here and there's an envelope on the desk and they've not been collected yet, and we will pick you up during the day tomorrow if that is the case. But what you need to be, for now until the summer, is determined. You know, what are your results showing you right now? Well, you have in the full pack showing you the grades, your attendance, and the breakdown of what you got for those exams. In the pack, you'd also find revision tips, your WOD, and your attendance information, all of which will help build up the picture of what your year has been like. The attendance is really quite key. You know, if you're 90 percent attendance, that means you have missed four whole weeks of lessons. You know, I know there's lots of things going on at the moment with isolations, etc. But if your attendance is affected by you just not being at school because you're not ill or because you just can't get in on that day, it's going to really make a difference over the coming weeks and make an impact on the grades you get at the end. You know, an attendance below 90%, you're probably going to be two grades worse in all your subjects in your results. So that's what the, the statistical work showed from last year. When we see the people that weren't here, they didn't get the grades. You know, no real surprise. There's 111 of you today with an attendance less than 96%, and that's not including anything COVID-related. 
That's a third of you. you know, and that figure could increase and move it to nearer we get to May 2021. So you really have got to make sure that you're in school as much as you can do it and in as many of your lessons as you can do. So we've got a grid here between one and nine. And I need you to pick a number that relates to how well you've done based on your performance and your revision. So for grid number one, you know, you worked really hard and revised well, and you're really pleased with those results. Or if you did no revision and your grades are below what you, you need or want, you pick a nine. So if you just have a look along the top there for the revision effort and down the side with the performance and then pick the, the number that relates to you. You don't need to share with anyone in the class because we're going to go through those slides now. So if you worked really hard on your revision, you know, and you're pleased with your results, keep it up, good work, but don't get complacent. If your results are okay, but you need a grade or two to improvement, don't be too down on yourself, Cont um, be continue your useful revision, you'll get there in the end. If you worked really hard and you, and you revise well, but your grades are below what you need, you know, did you revise the correct thing? Did you actually use the topics? Did you revise smartly and use the techniques that we've shown you? It might be that you need to have a chat with us to help you kind of with the revision and targeting the topics you need to do. Second group, you did some revision, but it's not as much as you planned. Um, you, you're getting pleasing results. Take the positives, but don't just assume you're going to get these same results again in the summer. OK, you did some revision, but your grades are OK. How will you actually make sure you revise better in the summer? What lessons have you learned? Again, that might not be something you're willing to discuss and share in your lesson at the moment. But you do know what you've done and what you could do to improve it. How did you, you know, and your grades are below, if you did some revision, well, you need to be honest with yourself. If you don't do the revision, you're not going to get the grades you want in the summer. And that's going to be, you know, these are going to be the results you will get and have to carry with you then going forward. If you did nothing and you're happy with your results, well, well done. Um, but you can't kind of rely on that ever happening again. You know, you might not get lucky again. OK. Your results are one or two grades below you. Well, that's not really a thing, but you know you have got the time to make sure you can get the revision in and then make the improvements you need to do. You did no revision and your grades are well below it. Well, what did you expect? You know, you've got to change your attitude to change your outcomes. You have to make sure you put the effort in to get the grades you want. None of this is going to come easy. You have to put the work in constantly between now and the summer. You know, the key thing is here, you, today is your practice results day. You know, the next time we get together to do this will be the, the proper results. And you have to take from the word practice that you are learning from this to make sure that you can actually move forward with them. You know, feeling sorry for yourself and you want to give up, well, you know, that's not going to help. You have got to dig deep into that character that you've got and fight for every single mark in those exams. For some of you, it does make a real difference. Is one or two marks is the grades that you'll need for college to get your average point score right up. You know, the key message is then fight for every mark. Revision needs to be effective, challengeable. And you do the exam questions, look at the teacher feedbacks, ask the questions. Don't focus on the results of your practice results. Focus on what you need to do over the coming weeks. You know, where are the gaps in your knowledge? What do you need to do? How are you going to target that? What are the questions you need to ask in lessons and in ESPs? So what could I do now? You could panic. You could give up, not care, relax. The job's done. Take it easy. Or, you know, you can focus. You can rise. You can be selfish. You can seek help. You can be determined. And, you know, there's always a Star Wars one. Fulfill your destiny. You know, these are your exam results. You have got to do what you can do to get the grades you need to, you know, as Mr. Denman says, you know, don't count the days, but make the days count, you know, and take control to get what you want in the summer. So you are really happy with what you've done to kind of show your efforts for your five years at Wilden. The future. Well, 27th of August, you know, a week later than normal, you know, we want to see lots of really, really big smiles this year, all COVID being out the way, hopefully by then, You'll all be able to get together, you know, and have those really happy moments which we can share with you in the sunshine to 
show how well you've done. We missed out on this last year because of all things going on in the world. But actually, this is going to be your summer. These are going to be the results that you're going to then be sharing. You know, who will you call? You know, how will they feel when you're sharing these results with them? You know, in August, you know, would you want to share these results you've got now? You know, if we said like phones out and let's phone home and send some pictures, you know, would you actually want to be sharing this information? You know, are people at home going to feel proud like you're going to feel proud of your results in August? So what now? In January, there's going to be lots of new extra support for you to do to help you achieve your full GCSE potential. Some of them you won't understand why we've put you into these groups. Some of it won't be clear for the start of it, but you just got to trust us that we know what we're doing to help support you. And we just want you to accept all the kind of the things that we pass your way and have an open mind and go for it. You will have lots of questions and things you want to do to improve and you need to bring that to us to help as well. Okay. The target here for you all is really the best possible average point score for you for the college in September 2021. You know, that's how they will grade you on those college courses. You'll have lots of people with the grades you know, in the subjects you want to take for A-levels, for example. But actually, it'd be the average point scores of all your courses that they will do that with. So if you decide to give up on one subject, you know, that will drag your average point score down. And that could be the difference between being put on a level three course and a level two course at college. You know, they will offer you places, but they won't necessarily be the courses that you want to do. So support today. At the bottom of your forms, you'll see there's a collection of um, meetings that have been um, for about 100 of you to come to the WAVE either this afternoon or tomorrow and um, for Mac students to go to the LRC um, as it's directed on the form for you to do as well. You know. If you've not got a meeting, please come to the WAVE um, during the day or break what? Um, or before school and we can actually help you there you, or you can email any member of staff here and just ask the questions and then we'll be able to help you with it but it's really important that if you have questions if you're really not sure and you haven't got an appointment to come and see one of us that you find the answer before you go home we don't want any of you going home with these questions in your mind and actually not having the answers you need um, before you head home so please make the point to come and see us email us and ask those questions so we can get them to you. Last year's year 11, this is what they had to say. Sometime in early year 11. Oh, that's okay. 
Amazing. Well done. Oh, you've done so much hard work. How'd you get on? Uh, absolutely chuffed a bit, to be honest. Um, just do the work and you'll, you'll get rewarded. I mean, I've seen that, so just do the work, please. Just do the work. What'd you get? What'd you get? Um, I got Mass 8, P7, RE9, History 9, Biology 9, Chemistry 9, Physics 9, English Language 9, English Literature 9, Drama 7, and ICT A. Um, I got like 8s and 9s. 8s and 9s? <laughs> yeah. And uh, what advice would you give people to try and achieve um, those results? Just work steadily from quite a long time, but um, like work smart, not hard. Um, and just keep consistent with your revision and put all the effort in that you can so that you know that you've done the best that you can. Right. <laughs> right. what, what advice would you give to next year's year of 11? Yeah, revise. Revise? Yeah. Oh, what, now? Like, week before? A month before? A year before? Be sorted by Christmas, I guess. Um, I got uh, three nines and then I got eights and sevens and um, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> I got an 8 in RE, which I wasn't really expecting. Oh, RE! What is going on there? But um, I'm so proud and so happy. And then my advice to the um, future, Year 11, is to just work really hard. And um, don't worry too much. Yeah, like don't overstress yeah, over because that's hard. the worst thing to do. Yeah. Uh, we're like both absolutely yeah. over the moon. I think we both underestimated ourselves. So yeah, we really, we pretty much got like all like eight, nine, sevens and stuff. So we're really yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised about my nine in history. Like I'm really, really, really pleased about that. But yeah. like advice to my like, year tens going into year eleven, I'd say start revising early. Don't neglect it. Um, but not too early. Don't, don't waste do it too early. But like, like after Christmas, yeah. like get down and do it, and then it'll be fine. Yeah. And your work does pay off. Like don't. I was so worried that all the work I put in wasn't even going to get me the right results, but it does. If you work for it, it really does pay off. Yeah. So that's quite clear, really, isn't it? They were all, you know, start revising early, have a plan, revise smartly, don't overstress it, but do do the revision. You know, um, you know, the year before, um, last comments there, and then every year that we have those videos, and when we're able to make them, you know, it's the same advice they give is actually start your revision early, revise smartly, have a plan, and, and go for it. You know, if you leave it too late, you can't make up that time. So, you know, it's a case of now relaxing over Christmas, but coming back really focused, ready to do what you need to do to achieve in the summer the grades the average point score that you need to get into college and set your future up okay and then lots of things as i said will be coming your way to help you with that but you have to have that focus that drive and kind of bottle up how you may have been feeling earlier today um earlier in this lesson when you were actually looking at those envelopes for the first time that's the key thing here you know make that your motivation how did you feel how would you feel if you shared that um, other things that are going on, you've had an email from me regarding the yearbook and the whole year group photo, if we're able to take that, depending on COVID, but you need to give your permission for that. Um, GDPR states that you know, the age of 16 is your consent, but if you don't give permission, you won't appear in the yearbook. And if we're able to take the whole year group photo at some stage, um, if you haven't given permission for that, you won't be in that either. Okay, uh, there's going to be another little uh, link for you to watch um, after this and have some discussion with your um, class teachers now. But it's another message to Mr. Demon, um, call him after me. I will see you in a minute in the hall again, but I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas if you're not coming through the hall. And please take on board the advice, ask the questions, make sure you've got all the answers you need before you go home today. And um, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Okay, bye-bye.